Good morning, children, and good morning, families. Today is a festival day. It is the day of Pentecost, and so we wear red. You can see red behind me, red on the altar, and we celebrate the coming of the Holy Spirit to the early church and to us. A couple of things on these pyramids you see here flames of fire. Of course, you see fire every week on the altar with our candles and the Christ candle. And the fire reminds us of the fire that was above the heads of the disciples as they were preaching to the people on that Pentecost day in Jerusalem. It really got people's attention to see the preachers with their heads on fire. Uh, and I suspect it would today as well. We are thankful, I suppose that's not the case, but they were unharmed and the people listened and they heard the gospel. The other symbol we have here for Pentecost is a dove. And the, a dove is the symbol also of the Holy Spirit, which comes down and gives us faith. We remember this in Jesus' baptism. The dove came down and the father said, this is my son whom I'm well pleased. Listen to him. And the Holy Spirit now gives us ears to listen. I know that's difficult for us sometimes to listen. But now the Holy Spirit will give us ears to hear not just anything, but God's word. There is something else the Holy Spirit does. We heard it uh, in the reading from Romans that Pastor Anjanette read. And we heard it in the verse 1 of the hymn that we just sang for the children's word. The Holy Spirit makes us God's children. That happens when we are baptized. You are God's children. And there's something about being a child that's important. Uh, it means you are cared for. It means you are protected, even when scary things happen. Now, this last week, I was very excited one evening to go out and see the oncoming thunderstorm where our house is. There is a great hill. We can look over the hill and see the weather come in from the west. So I ran outside to watch this very uh, exciting sight. Our three little kids uh, and Lucas on his bike raced up the hill to go, to go watch the uh, lightning and the wind come and the rain. And we got about to the top of the hill and my little ones got pretty scared. They said, we don't want to do this anymore. The clouds were dark. They were rolling in. The thunder was in the distance, but it was there. And they got afraid. And so we turned around and we went back home to the safety of our house. And that night, one of our little ones told me, I am afraid of what we saw. And I don't want to have nightmares of that. And you know what we do before we go to bed? We pray, we share blessings, and sometimes we sing hymns. So we sang a couple of hymns that night that reminded us that we are God's children. And God protects us through everything. This is true for you now. You are God's child. And God protects you through Jesus Christ no matter what. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord God, thank you for the adoption that your Holy Spirit brings to us. That we are your children. And so you preserve and protect us. Remind us. Remind our families of that. And, of that, and keep us in this promise. Amen.